how to get clients as a freelance designer and how to market yourself. Well, where do we start? So let's say you're pretty new to the game. You work as a freelancer, but you just started and you want to go fully independent. Uh, so what are the basic things that you need to do to get clients, basically? Well, getting clients can be hard, and especially in the starts of your career. Um, so what's, a good, what's important to have is a good portfolio. The client will check this, so make it really as best as possible. And in a certain way, it's your online business card, as cheeky as it sounds. But it's, uh, it's also important to think how to market yourself. So really put the time into, into the branding and uh, think it through uh, really good and um, see it as your most important project you ever did because your identity as freelancer is important. And uh, your portfolio website is in a way to show how good you are and selling your skills. And this sounds like showing off and kind of is, but if you do it right, it's not cheeky. So um, your portfolio website is an invitation to make what you like. Um, I think it's good to show your face and to use your own speaking language, uh, but be discreet, of course. And you can show your own style to the design. So I think it's good to talk a bit about yourself. You don't need to share a lot, but some information works well, I think. So the client can know you better and it's important to know uh, for the clients who they work with. This improves trust. And um, I think your portfolio, portfolio website can be a bit, uh, bit personal and also a little fun. It's your style the way you like it. For example, you see here a piece of my homepage where I talk a bit about myself in a picture. And if you click on my face, you don't see the animation right here, but these cool sunglasses pop up and cover my face. And it also goes away after two seconds. And this is certainly not for everyone, but I thought that these kinds of things are funny. And since my own website, it's my style. So yeah, that's what I like. And uh, disclaimer, it's kind of hidden because if you don't click on it, you don't see this. So it's not uh, in your face all the time when you scroll to my website or something like that. But I think those Easter eggs are funny to use. And another example I have, this is a, a piece of my contact page. I made a high five button. And if you click on high five button, the emoji will pop up and gives you a high five with an animation. And the third example I have is also my contact page. Uh, when you hover over my email or my phone number, uh, those cool emojis come bouncing up and down also with animation and goes away after a while. So showing your face and showing who you are is good, but don't overdo this. Don't make it a look at me website with all the model pictures you have. Uh, so not like this, not like this example. So use it subtle. And of course, your portfolio page is also important. I think it's, um, it's not, I think you only have to show your best work. So if really quality of quantity, and if you're not proud of some work you did, uh, don't show it. And if you don't have enough projects to show on your website, you can make an imaginary project or a fake project. It doesn't really matter if it's real or not, I think. The client will look at possibilities, at the design, at the layout, etc. cetera. So um, yeah, this is a perfect way to show your skills because you have no limitations from the client if you can make your fake project. And um, yeah, this is a perfect portfolio piece that you can make, but also it's a good practice for yourself. And I also have a fake project piece called Round the World. Uh, I was into traveling, I still am, but back in the day I also was. And I thought it would be cool to work with a playful style for a project that I made up for a travel agency. Uh, and since I'm the client, I can decide what I want to make. So I, I gave myself some context. It's called Round the World is a travel agency that offers all kinds of quality trips. And you can visit the most beautiful places that have been especially uh, selected for you and around the world wants to give the experience of a certain location on their website and with this in mind i started the branding of the projects and here you see the process uh, these images you're going to see are all screenshots from the portfolio page of my website and so here you see the logos that didn't make it uh, but i wanted to show the process the design process so here you see the final logo that I made here you see the explanation of the logo why i did these elements these things so I pretended like it was a real uh, project, the typography, the website homepage as a mockup, and finally the whole page and responsive states also. So again, I pretended to be a real client and it's a full portfolio piece I have on my website and um, your potential customers won't notice that it's fake. Okay, so let's say we have a perfect portfolio website. Uh, another important thing to do is spend some time on SEO. And I wrote a manual that will also post on online until the education is very soon. And here I talk more about SEO uh, and I will link this also in the description. And besides that, there are tons of blogs that you can check. But I will talk about one important thing for now, which I think is really great and it's called link building. And this means uh, adding your website's link to uh, in other websites for your clients, for example. 
And this is not only good for SEO, but also people uh, are curious to see who is the designer behind the website. And the perfect example uh, is putting your name and your link in the bottom of the page, so in the footer, so for your clients, for example. Uh, so website made by SV Designs in my case. Well, I found out that many visitors this way. Uh, these three you see here are all clients of mine. And in the statistics, I can see that this website has the highest refer number. And these numbers are for one week. So it also helps to use social media and update it frequently. And this will also show high up in Google. And you can share your website also here. And this is also link building. So that's nice. But the best way to be seen, in my opinion, is word of mouth. Uh, I have an example. I made a website for my friend's mother. And she was happy with the results. And uh, she had also a friend who was looking for a new website. So she spread the words. Uh, and some months later, this friend of my friend's mother worked, worked with someone, so a colleague. And he uh, also wanted the website, so he came to me. But it goes even further than that. Uh, this person had a family member who also wanted the website. So really, from one client came three other clients. Uh, and who knows, in the future, they are even become even more clients of this. And after delivering the website, they always ask the client, if you know someone who also needs a website or a branding project, depends on what you do, of course, uh, you know where to find me. And if the client is happy and likes collaboration and likes the website, they're happy to help you. So this is really great, I think. So let's say you have a nice portfolio with all the information in it. And that's a good base. But now you have to get out there. And what do I mean with get out there? Well, make sure your Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook is on point. Uh, apply in online design platforms. Become a member of a Facebook group. Submit your website to awards or on other websites. Uh, place yourself in a local marketplace. Be active in design groups on the socials. Participate in the design battle even. And many, many other ways. And these are all ways to show your beautiful website and also your brand. And by doing these things, uh, you can make a name of yourself. Mm -hmm.